What are the three commonest mistakes uh, that students make while preparing for the NEET examination uh, that, that has a bad impact on their final scores or results? Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, I'm Dr. Praveen Tripathi. I'm a faculty of psychiatry. Uh, over the last eight, nine years, uh, I have seen that there's a pattern in the mistakes that students make. And uh, these mistakes often uh, end up having a detrimental impact on their scores and they end up getting uh, ranks that are subpar. Let's talk about them. Uh, the biggest problem is not being able to finish the course in time. Now, this is a story that gets repeated every year and it has a reason. Uh, most of the students, when they start preparing, uh, they, they are kind of emotional about their preparation. Many, many think that, okay, I did not study as well in the last four and a half years, but this year I would not leave any stone unturned. I'll, I'll go for it, which is good. I'm having that kind of spirit is good. But then being too emotional about your approach rather than being logical often backfires. Uh, often what happens is you, you pick a subject, any XYZ subject, and uh, you watch videos, you do question, then you go for you know uh, another source, uh, then then you go for some notes, then you ask a senior, he tells about some book and you end up spending a large amount of time on one subject. After that, you go for the second subject, you realize that you have to be a bit more disciplined. But again, uh, that the desire to know everything about that subject again, again creeps in and again you end up uh, spending disproportionate amount of time on that second subject. By the time you finish seven, eight subjects, you realize that it is already August or September and you have a very, uh, you have only a couple of months left and then final four or five subjects are completed in a jiffy, right? So, so what happens finally is uh, you spend too much time on couple of subjects, you spend too little time on other subjects and when it comes to revision, those subjects that you had spent a large amount of hours on, you are not able to revise them. You of course cannot revise from all those sources, you end up sticking to one source and you know that that all extra information that you had accumulated goes in vain. So, so you ended up spending so much time, you were not able to revise it and finally you are, you are uh, pressed for time. So this is something that happens almost to every student. Only very few or very disciplined are able to navigate this, these troubled waters. So this is still uh, April or May and we are still in the early phase of the preparation and you should ensure that your plan is such that you finish your first reading by August positively. Uh, if, if we are presuming that the NEET exam would be held in the January of 2021, you must have at least time for two to three revisions. See, revisions are extremely important. Uh, no matter how well you read for, uh, for the first time, you would not be able to recall it if you do not go for revisions. So this is the first and I believe the most important mistake that a lot of students do, uh, going for too many sources or too vast a source, right? Be precise with your preparation. Second mistake. Uh, a good chunk of students, a good number of students do not give enough importance to the short subjects. Uh, short subjects like psychiatry or dermatology or anesthesia or forensic or orthopedics. Now, now many students feel that, okay, uh, we'll, we'll finish the bigger subjects first and these we will manage. Now, of course, bigger subjects are important. Without, without completing the bigger subjects, you can forget about getting a good rank. Uh, but uh, during, during my days when I was preparing for the examination, we used to say that bigger subjects ensure that you get selected and shorter subjects, smaller subjects ensure that you get a good rank. And there is some reason why that, that saying is popular. Uh, subject lay, uh, like say psychiatry. Now psychiatry is a short subject. Uh, you have to spend a limited amount of time to finish psychiatry and you would end up getting 8 to 10 or 8 to 12 questions in NEET examination every year from psychiatry. Now the good thing is it is it is a small subject and the chances of a question coming out of that subject is very minimal. In comparison in some bigger subjects it is very difficult even if you read it a lot some question may end up from some some topic that that nobody was aware of. So uh, when, when you have a good grasp on a short subject, you can be assured that those those 10 12 questions, you would be able to get them correctly. So that is why short subjects are extremely important. And sometimes I, I suggest students that you should finish the shorter subjects in the beginning of your preparation and, and uh, uh, not not preserve them at the uh, for the for the end of the preparation. So, so this is a common mistake done by many students that they don't give importance to the short subject and uh, they end up, you know, uh, not getting those easily uh, accessible marks. So give enough importance to the shorter subjects. The third common mistake that I see students doing is uh, 
they they kind of get fascinated with the newer things happening advances and new drugs and you know all those controversial questions uh, the answers of which nobody is really aware of and they spend hours and hours you know discussing about it uh, posting on facebook talking uh, with friends uh, tagging faculties all this kind of gives you a high you enjoy that process of you know trying to find the right answer trying to find the correct answer it is all interesting it might be interesting but you are not you are not having this one year for fun this is sheer waste of time if, even in the end you are able to find an answer you would never be sure that whether this is the correct answer or not so controversial answers questions are controversial for a reason nobody knows what the correct answer is so do not waste time on controversial question advances now it is quite possible that aims might ask about an advance uh, or pj might ask about it but you know those are the things that you target once you are done with your course if you have not finished the course uh, even if you know all that one said that does not make a difference that one or two question is not going to make it or break it for you so so don't waste time similarly for newer drugs uh, I, i have heard most of the famous faculties of pharmacology say that don't go for them uh, don't don't waste time they are not that oftenly asked but but students find it interesting and they keep on wasting time on those things so see uh, in the end please remember that all this stuff might be interesting but that is it, it does not really Uh, get your questions correct sticking to the basics st- sticking to the things that we know are asked in the examination completing the subject at time revising it multiple times focusing on all the subjects uh, especially the shorter subjects these things would help you in getting a good score so so avoid these mistakes as i said it is still the beginning of the preparation or the middle part of the preparation even if you are doing something some some things of those sort you can course correct and ensure that uh, you you prepare in a proper and logical manner I hope you use your time wisely and I hope you get a great rank great rank and you get the branch God bless thank you